Hey everyone, welcome to Gun and Breaker Build Guide, and this is probably going to be an intense week. Uh, we're starting off with some slow news on uh, this week. Um, quick mentions, Gundam Battle Operation 2 is finally getting a PC port. That's terrific, I've been over that game for years, but hey, if you have a PC and not a PS5, uh, check it out. And in Japanese news, both Shars Counterattack and Hathaway's Flash have been submitted to the Toho Cinema Film Festival in Japan. So if you're in Japan, you can watch those movies in a theater if that's what you're into. Movies in Japan are very expensive though. Oh, and special shout out to my Patreon subscriber, Spider-Man. All right, anyway, no news is good news, I guess. So we need to talk about Gundam Breaker Mobile now because things are not what they used to be. We've officially rolled into update 3.04 and I'm gonna just let you guys know this is probably gonna be a bad update unless your overall goal is to not spend as much money on this game because that's kind of a side effect of what they've done. First things first, there's only one suit to pull in this week and it's the RX-0 Maru, the fun ninja SD unicorn Gundam with the typical guaranteed gold parts on the fifth and sixth and first pulls. So I did my six pulls, got my three parts, and I got some very juicy Mark Mateo Alpha, which I as always need to push my shots Zeta even further and further into OP territory. I did at least have some fun with it. I put together a pretty cute Unicorn SD Gundam. But there was really no need to pull on that this week because this week the game has officially run out of new content, which is really bad. It's... A wall I thought we might get to, but I never thought we'd actually get to, and now that we're here, I'm kind of at a loss for words. With no new content, we actually have our first rerun weekly mission with our first rerun charity suit. So this week we're going back and we're having a blast from the past to the golden age of October 8th, 2019, pre-pandemic, when this game was only a few months old. Now, the rerun is for the Dual Gundam Assault Shroud. And yeah, I already have that. I already have it golded out, and I definitely finished this event the first time it ran three effing years ago. And honestly, this sucks. Justifying the weekly mission with cool new collectible suit kept this game feeling fresh. And now that they've run out of those, I definitely care a lot less. Actually, hold up. So I got a little confused because of a few UI consistencies with this update, but it turns out that the dual Gundam Assault Shroud that they're giving out this week as a charity unit is an S attribute instead of a P attribute. And the dual Gundam that they gave out in 2019 wasn't a charity suit, but a purple rarity banner suit. Now, I have to contemplate, is this new Assault Shroud a stronger version or a weaker version? I can justify the suit if it can scale up to masquerade size. This week it can't, but since the event's playing out over multiple weeks, I'm holding my hope that the alteration parts are coming down the road. Anyway, so far the biggest change with the 3.4 update seems to be a massive slowdown in new content. This was heralded in the schedule change, which again a lot of people haven't seen, so I'm showing it again. But the second biggest change of the update is that they're leaning more into this game being a multiplayer game, which up till now, multiplayer has been an aspect of it, but now they're acting like that's the whole game. Possibly this is because they're trying to push that upcoming Gundam Metaverse project, but it's honestly a big for change in format for this game. With the crew multi-missions happening more frequently, they have tried to improve them a little. They've reduced the requirements for all the loot down to 26 missions to a more reasonable and less torturous 12, which you can do in about an hour, as long as you have, like, friends. However, at the same time, they greatly increased the reward for playing said missions, offering these brand new crew multiplayer shop coins, which you can exchange for old suits, rare items, and that actually makes the missions very much worth it, to the point where I kind of want to play them, like, way more than I usually would. It's really interesting that I've seen a lot of games eventually pivot away from their multiplayer features, and this is one of the only games I've ever seen going all harder into it. But still, ultimately this means there's mostly just a slow rollout of the new events in game, and the weekly missions are now changed to bi-weekly, and the Sokai banners are now only happening once a month. Now to try and balance this out, they are offering more items in the weekly shop, especially Mark material, which matters the most to me. 
However, a lot of the items they're offering are kind of trash. Especially now that you can buy like an unnecessary amount of duplicate parts for the weekly suit. One nice change though is they're offering the new Xeon Gundam as a guaranteed crafting bonus. As long as you play the game every day and beat all the crew multiplayer missions this week. Me and my crew knocked out the first 12 last night, but leave a comment if you're in my crew and you want to do any more because I'm down for more crew coins. So what's effing crazy about the slowdown though is that aside from the crew mission this week, there's no scenario mission. The scenario mission is not going to be posted until next week. And the challenge mission that usually pops on Sunday is actually not coming out for like three weeks, which is nuts to me. And again, it's for the Assault Shroud, which is very old and very uh, outdated in terms of stats. I don't know if they've buffed it since they've rerun it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not that special. There's also no bingo board because that's tied heavily into the scenario mission. But since the scenario mission has been pushed up to next week, I'm wondering if it's going to happen next week. And yeah, there's also a variety of mysterious high level crafting items in the shop now with this update. But so far, no one has any clue about how to unlock any of those. But uh, yeah, if that works out, it seems like you can craft the new Gundam and the Zeta, which are actually pretty cool suits to craft. So yeah, this 3.04 update, kind of a bad situation, honestly. If I had to like just be honest with you guys, it reeks of the game's impending future death. So I think I definitely want to stop giving the game money at this point because it feels like it's lacking a future from here on out and that really sucks because i do love this game i've had so much fun playing it every week meeting people in the community being the pants off of people in the community and generally having a cool ass time building custom gundams and yeah i love this game and i'm gonna feel like a chump for kind of supporting it this long if it's just gonna fizzle out all of a sudden but you know that's life a good thing eventually ends and uh yeah, it's a service game, so eventually the service had to run out at some point, but man, here we are, the end of the rainbow. All right, well, anyway, I'm Mule Buster Green, and I'm still going to play this game every week, but uh, I guess there's going to be a lot less for me to do now, so that's going to suck. Maybe I'll have to go back to YouTubing about soda, because that seemed to raise a lot of eyebrows with people. I don't know, Nitro Pepsi just came out. Anyone want to hear a review of Nitro Pepsi? Do you even know what Nitro Pepsi is? All right, anyway, I'm going. Bye.